Okay, now. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Thank you. Uh, so see you now. This is a software. Uh, well, one part of a uh, microwind software, as I uh, spoke to you in the uh, previous lectures. Uh, microwind is of uh, two types. Like uh, one is a design, uh, designing of a schematic uh, software. Other one is a layout designing. Exclusively, it is for one software is for designing part, and other one is for the uh, layout design. Uh, I have put an uh, official email for the microwind uh, uh, people. In order to get the license of the microwind, uh, we have got a license for this uh, de schematic design, but uh, I don't have the license for the microwind software. I have put a mail. Probably within uh, one or two days, we'll be getting the mail for. The, we'll get a license for that one. So first, we'll try to see about uh, this one uh, software. Uh, so this is the name of the software is called as an uh, DSCH. It's a designing schematic. Design schematic uh, software. This is design schematic software. You can see here. If you see the palettes here. Uh, this one is a file uh, where you can uh, open different kinds of uh, any previously drawn this uh, 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 schematics uh, and we can save that one. Here you can see this foundry. Here foundry means uh, it talks about the technology, why in, in, different, in what kind of technology we are supposed to draw the particular file. And also we can make a very log file. I hope you are uh, good at uh, HDM software, HDL, hardware description language. Uh, uh, as we know that there are uh, VHDL and also Verilog uh, is other part of the HDL. So we can even directly obtain the HDL code for the design which you are drawn here. And uh, these are the few uh, schema, new symbol like properties. We can use different properties. Uh, we can make it as a complete white color, as a monochrome color. Uh, and next, uh, these are different types of edit, insert. We can insert uh, any kind of uh, symbols, user symbol which you have already saved. And these are the few shortcuts where cut is used for, uh, if you don't want any kind of um, uh, symbol here, we can use this cut, uh, gun symbol is being used. We know to remove that one paste, copy, and uh, rotating of the, for you not to rotate left, right, and flip that uh, transistor, we can use all these symbols here. So now directly I'll enter into the designing part. So now here we have got two types of uh, 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 palette. In this palette, we have got two different types of uh, components here. In the basic component, we can see here, this is a uh, one which is used for uh, inputting the signal. There's a ground terminal. This is the VDD supply. And this is a clock where we can use a completely uh, uh, pulse can be given here. And uh, OK, fine, just a minute. This is how it comes here. Uh, clock signal. And this is a uh, one which is used for obtaining the output. And this are the few more uh, transfer hexadecimal uh, uh, designs also can be made. Uh, as an output uh, and this is an inverter one is a lo logical inverter this is a three state inverter different kinds of inverters and buffer this is a three state buffer and this is for a two input uh, uh, and gate this is three input and gate this is a nand gate two input nand gate three input nand gate or gate uh, nor gate three input uh, nor gate uh, so this these are different kinds of uh, logic structures which we can use here and this is a nmos transistor and this is a PMOS transistor. If you enter into the advanced uh, one, in this palette, we can have a resistor, capacitor, inductor, different kinds of op-amp symbols are there. And we can even uh, see a diode. And these are different kinds of uh, uh, components which we, 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 which we can use in order to make a design. So let's first, uh, as a part of this one, we'll try to use, uh, we'll try to design one uh, CMOS inverter and we'll check how it, uh, it it works. So first, what I have done is that by using your mouse, <coughs> sorry, by using your mouse, uh, click on your uh, left uh, left click and select your transistor and drag it onto this one. We should select and drag it. And since it is a PMOS, uh, we know it's a, since it has got a bubble, we can be called as a PMOS. And now this is a NMOS. You can click that one and uh, Press your left click and dry, directly drag onto the uh, this particular software. And now, uh, you know, in order to make the connection between the PMOS and the NMOS, we can use here. You can see here line. Add a line is there. This uh, is used to make the connections between the PMOS and NMOS. And this we have made a connection between the drain terminals, two drain terminals, and now. We, should, we know that as per the CMOS inverter, we should make a connection between the uh, 
two gate terminals. So this is how we make a connection between two gate terminals. So I need to give one input to the uh, input uh, signal to the gate terminal. So I have uh, made this connection of line, uh, which acts as a terminal. And this is for the output terminal. And now here we should uh, supply the VDD. So I'll try to select the VDD from this palette. And uh, by pressing the left click of the mouse, I'll drag it on this one and place it wherever I require that one. And similar way, this is the ground terminal. Uh, press that one with the left click and drag onto the, this particular software. And similarly, we need an input signal. So here I try to take this, uh, this one will act as a button, will act as an input signal. So now press that one with the help of left, left click, drag onto the software and we have made a connection here. This will uh, supply the input to this CMOS inverter and output. Here, this one light will uh, will act as an output for this one. So uh, press that one and drag onto this one. So now we can even name this one uh, parameter can also be named uh, pin names. You can see here now if you double click that one, if you double click, you can uh, see the show symbol title. You can see the PMOS and in similar way double click symbol title and nmos and we can even uh, show that uh, pmos and nmos uh, uh, source and drain terminals of this one source and drain terminals double click of the pmos show pin names and also this one i'll put it you can see now this is the w by l ratio uh, what should be the width of this PMOS transistor and what should be the length of PMOS transistor. This, this entire thing works upon uh, 1.2 micrometer technology. This software is one uh, which is a student version which works on 1.2 uh, micrometer technology. So the width of this particular transistor uh, is, um, uh, this is the aspect ratio which is default value 0 0.5 micrometer and length is 0 0.05 micrometer. And in a similar fashion, we can even use uh, name this one by selecting these pins show pin name show symbol name symbol title and show names and uh, proportions so we can use this one uh, we can select all this one and uh, click ok once if you select this one it will be displayed and you can even change the width and length of this transistor you can see you know, excuse me you can even change this one see we can even change this one if you have designed any kind of uh, design uh, if you have done a paperwork for designing the analog uh, uh, part of your uh, uh, CMOS design, and if you have got any of the uh, width value and uh, length value, those values can be inputted in this uh, uh, length uh, channel width and channel uh, length place, and we can uh, click it OK. So th those values can be uh, obtained here. See here, if I change the name, you can see here, if I change uh, some value, the width will be changed. It will be, now it has become 0 0.3. So let me put it as a default one only, 0 0.5. In that way, we can uh, give the width and uh, length of this particular design. So now we have constructed our CMOS structure. So you can see uh, now the PM for the source of the PMOS will be always in the top. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll add one uh, so that it will be easier to understand. Okay, this is the source of this uh, uh, PMOS. This is a drain of a PMOS. And this one is a drain terminal of NMOS and this is a source terminal of NMOS. So the and gate terminals are here, gate of PMOS and gate of NMOS. Both the gates are connected and see here, you can even see the difference between these two. This, this will act as an, uh, uh, what is that? Uh, this will act as a uh, uh, metal layers which, which are used for drawing the gate terminals. So now let us make a, a simulation of this one. So you can use this one simulation button, run simulation uh, we can use, click on the run simulation, And once if you click on the run simulation, it will pop up this uh, particular uh, simulation control window. Now we can give the inputs. If you are, uh, if you this light or uh, is seen here, means we have supplied some input logical one. Then remove that one logical zero, logical one. Whenever it's logical one, this LED will not glow. It means that output is equal to zero. Okay. So now uh, logical one, we know that the PMOS will be turned off and NMOS will be turned on. So that's why you can see the channel has been uh, off whenever the between the source and drain there is no channel it is a switch off condition so now here the channel has been created within source and drain 
so now when our logical zero we know that for the cmos uh, when it's logical one we know that the input of the P, uh, cmos inverter will be zero so now if it's logical uh, one well, sorry it's a zero whenever you supply logic zero the channel will be created between the source and drain of pmos and uh, and you can also see the channel is lost between the source and drain of the nmos so this is how it works the pmos will be on whenever it's a logical zero is supplied and the nmos will be off whenever it's a logical zero and when whenever we supply logical one as an input then pmos will be turned off and nmos will be turned on so the uh, this is how a cmos inverter will be working so uh, now i'm trying to give some inputs here on uh, logical one logical zero logical one logical zero so now once if you get this one click on this more button there's a timing diagram if you click on timing diagram you can see the outputs here see whenever it's a input is one the output will uh, output uh, you can see zero okay whenever the input is zero output is equal to one so zero one one zero one input is one output is zero so one uh, logic zero as an input output will be zero uh, so uh, sorry output whenever it's zero input is zero output will be one so now here since i have given uh, uh, inputs very fastly so that's why we have, we have seen this uh, structure you can see you can even uh, uh, click that one we can see uh, the detailed part of this uh, part also you can click on this one if you click on that particular one and click on this arrow you can see it now see whenever we we give uh, input as zero again we we get an output to be one one is a input if input law input is logic one that output will be logic zero so this is how and cmos inverter will be working uh, i hope you have understood this one and then once if you have completed this one i'll show now how to uh, uh, get uh, the verilog code of this particular structure in the similar fashion you can uh, draw different kinds of uh, structures and you can even obtain the verilog code go to file go to file make a verilog file make a verilog file and i hope you you are familiar with the verilog if you see the syntax of verilog you will be having a module then module name will come and inside that bracket you will be giving input and output there are again different uh, styles of writing the verilog code first um, uh, companies will be mostly in the companies uh, uh, they will be using first they will be using output uh, will be written and then input will be written but as per the sort we can use even there is no problem with writing as input or output uh, first first module then module name uh, inverter or example it has taken by default example so input one one only we are having only one input and one output so first is input and then output and what is the input name you should specify that among the signals among the signals which are given here input one and input uh, output one you should specify which which is input and which is output so in1 is an input so input in1 uh, output uh, out1 so this is uh, how we should specify those signals which are mentioned in this particular bracket then again wire uh, if you have used any kind of wires then that particular wire will be used here connection that's the interconnection uh, between two different kinds of uh, structures will be used then uh, i hope you remember different kinds of descriptions like we have got in hdl we are having like uh, data flow uh, data flow behavioral uh, structural switch level mixer level mixed uh, level so these are different kinds of uh, descriptions of writing vhdl program and also uh, verilog program so now here they are used here switch level description has been used this is a switch level description pmos this uh, uh, slash then again then again we can use one well, first pmos we are having only one pmos so it is one has been used here uh, hashtag one then again pmos one the name of that one is pmos one first output then write the inputs output one of the pmos then vdd is the one input to the pmos at the source terminal and uh, gate terminal is uh, input one so you can even see the uh, wbl ratio of this pmos also then again nmos nmos only one nmos is there nmos then uh, this is a second transistor so nmos2 the naming this is a naming of the transistors okay anyway we can name anything uh, then again output one uh, that's a output one that's a drain terminal where, where you get all, uh, output of the nmos output one the same one is a uh, same for both output is same so that's why output one and output one vss is another signal at the ground terminal and again input one is a same input for both the uh, transistors so it is input one and these are the uh, wbl ratios of nmos 
n model so n model so this is how we uh, we get this uh, verilog code for any of the design which we work in a dsch once if you get this one we can save this one as an uh, uh, we can save the name as cmos inverter you can save uh, we can save it as cmos inverter and you can click ok you will find this particular verilog file in the uh, uh, file of this uh, dsch you can open that one in microwind we can we have got uh, one provision in the microwind that by using this whatever the verilog code we have created just now we can use that micro uh, verilog code in the microwind and we can compile that uh, verilog code and uh, and the software will generate the layout for that particular design which you have used up to now okay so this is how uh, this uh, dsch will be working uh, so in the coming classes we'll uh, work uh, upon this dsh and uh, layout and we'll try to design even for a cmos nand gate and nor gate and we'll try to see how it converts that particular design into layout by using microwave uh, by using the verilog code and also we'll try to design the layout manually uh, which we have studied in the previous lectures so as of now this lecture is uh, 